Welcome to Gravenhurst, Ontario, Canada, also known as the Gateway to Muskoka. Now this video will provide 10 reasons why people love Gravenhurst. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was just a gamer back in 69. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to Gravenhurst, Ontario, Canada. Population around 15,000. Now just for context, we have a map here. We have circled Gravenhurst. Gravenhurst is two hours from Toronto. Now this video will provide 10 reasons why people love Gravenhurst. People love Gravenhurst because of Muskoka Wharf. Since it opened in 2005, the Muskoka Wharf on Muskoka Bay has been one of the big must-see draws for visitors to Gravenhurst. This impressive multi-million dollar project offers a mix of great accommodations, excellent dining, and attractions such as the famous RMS Seguin, North America's oldest still operating steamship. People love Gravenhurst with the possibility to sail aboard the Muskoka steamships. Moving with a grace that belies her age and still captivating the crowds gathered along Muskoka Wharf to catch a glimpse of her, Muskoka's majestic Lady of the Lakes RMS Seguin is the main draw for Gravenhurst Muskoka Steamships attraction. The sole survivor of a class of ships that was once quite common in Muskoka, the Seguin was launched in 1887 and still carries over 50,000 passengers each summer. People love Gravenhurst because of the Opera House. Muskoka's cottage season truly arrives when the historic Gravenhurst Opera House throws open its historic doors for its always awesome summer theater program. Known among professional actors as the birthplace of Canada's tradition of summer theater, it was here in 1934 that actor John Holden decided to create what is known as Summer Stock, an opportunity for actors to keep busy in the traditionally quiet summer months. Many of Canada's best known actors graced its stage, including Donald Sutherland, who got his start here in the late 1950s. People love Gravenhurst because of the Bethune home. It often comes as a surprise to visiting Canadians that Gravenhurst is well known internationally as the birthplace of one of the world's most famous humanitarians. Now a fascinating museum and natural historic site, Bethune Memorial House was where Dr. Norman Bethune spent the first years of his life after being born in 1890. Exhibits and artifacts commemorate Bethune's impressive achievements with particular emphasis on his time serving as a pioneering doctor on the front lines in China during its war with Japan in the 1930s. Bethune died a national hero in China in 1938. People love Gravenhurst because of the stargazing in Torrance Barron's Dark Sky Preserve. Just a stone's throw from downtown Gravenhurst, the Torrance Barron Dark Sky Preserve is one of the best places to visit in Ontario for stargazing. The preserve was established in 1999 and is one of only a handful of such locations across Canada free from light pollution, ensuring uninterrupted views of the star-filled Muskoka sky. People love Gravenhurst because of the hiking at Hardy Lake Trail. On the way to Torrance, you'll pass by one of Muskoka's most popular nature preserves, Hardy Lake Provincial Park. The big draw is the park's trail network. There are three to choose from, ranging in length, from an easy to walk paved surface from the car park to the long circular route that circumnavigates the picturesque lake. People love Gravenhurst because of the music at Peter's Players. Mention Gravenhurst to a professional musician and they'll more than likely wax lyrically about Peter's Players. This iconic music venue located south of the downtown core, just past the town's famous Gateway Arch, has earned a reputation not just for the quality of its acoustics, but for its setting. Founded in 2008, this fun venue has seen a stream of great musicians grace its small stage from the greats of Jim Cuddy of Blue Rodeo to the Cowboy Junkies, Ron Sexsmith, Ashley McIsaac, Colin James, and Kiefer Sutherland. People love Gravenhurst because of the golf options. Muskoka is blessed with somewhere around 30 plus championship golf courses and Gravenhurst has two of the very best of them. Topping people's list of must play Muskoka golf courses is Taboo. Located across the road from Taboo Muskoka Resort, Taboo Golf Course features 18 holes, each of them defined by the rugged Muskoka Rock. This par 72, 7,000 yard long course is simply a delight to play. People love Gravenhurst because of the snowmobiling. When the snow flies, Gravenhurst becomes a whole other place to explore. 
boasting over 400 kilometers of well-groomed snowmobile trails and connected to Ontario's extensive trail network, Gravenhurst attracts enthusiasts from far and wide, all wanting to take their sleds out for a spin across Lake Muskoka. If you don't have a sled of your own, don't worry, many Muskoka marinas have rentals and can deliver them to your resort or cottage. People love Gravenhurst because of the cottage country. Gravenhurst's role as the entrance to cottage country continues to be of importance to this day. Visitors can still get a taste of the lifestyle of these first cottage goers. An easy two hour drive north of Canada's largest city, it has for well over a century been the first town travelers would see as they made their way to the historic lodges and resorts and cottages that drew the first tourists to this area of beautiful lakes, thick woods, and that iconic exposed Canadian shield. The reasons provided in this video are not all the reasons why people love Gravenhurst. If you've got a reason why you love Gravenhurst, pop it in the comments section. I'll make another video. I hope you enjoyed the video. Ciao for now!